Hello and welcome to another episode of Speed Coding. Today we will work on event switches. Event switches are used for things that should only happen once or at special occasions. A good example of this is trainers as you shouldn't have to fight them more than once. Or if you enter a new town and you want some kind of event to happen. In our implementation each world object can use different components depending on if an event switch is on or off. But let us begin. The first thing we will do is the create the base event switch class. It will contain three properties, one for identity, one for the name of the event switch and one if the switch is on or off. After that we start to build on our event switch handler. But first we need to create two interfaces. The first interface is used to get the prioritized event id. A world object will have access to this interface and use this method to check what event is on or off and which components that is active. The next interface is used to change the value of an event switch. So let's begin with the event switch handler. Let's start by creating a constant for a default event switch. This event switch will always be on and can never be changed. So in the constructor we always add this default event switch. In the prioritized event switch in method, we simply check for all events that the component asks for. Then we look at the highest it of the event that is on. Then we send that it back together with the default event switch. Now let's do our changes for the world object class. The first thing we need is an instance of the event switch priority interface. We also need to change the list of components to a dictionary that that use the event switch it as key and have a list of components as value. As with the event switch handler we will initialize the dictionary with the default event switch it. Now we will create a new method to add components to a specific event switch it. We will also create a help method to get all components that match the prioritized event switches. So for example say that we have components in even switch 0, 2 and 3. If 2 is on and 3 is off this method should give us a list back with all components for event switch 0 and 2. But if 3 was on it should give us components from 0 and 3. And now we have to go through the surrounding classes and update them. Now we are going to do a simple test with the event switch in. We are going to add the trainer's spinning animation to event switch 2. And let the player control if event switch 2 is on or off by pressing A. Now we can see how the trainer both stop and start the spinning animation depending on if the event is on or off. 